Hey everybody, it's Sunday, so that means it's time for story time. And I have an awesome little guest with me today who's gonna help me read a book called Always So Grumpy. I have with me an African pygmy hedgehog. Now, there's 11 different types of hedgehogs found out through parts of Europe and Asia and Africa, but this is the one that we actually find in the pet trade because they're so tiny. They're sometimes called a four-toed uh, hedgehog, but primarily known as African pygmies. Now, she's very active right now because the lights in her room have been off for a little bit and she was already out hunting for food and running on her wheels. So right now is kind of her active time because these guys are nocturnal. I want to put her down in her little case here. That way she can run around and not be like wound up. So a couple of cool things about hedgehogs. First, they're insectivores. That means that they love eating insects. So she's got this long snoot, some big ears and some long whiskers and really good night vision that help her to go ahead and find insects at nighttime. She'll eat things like crickets, cockroaches, mealworms, beetles, pretty much any insect she can find. She's got long claws that help her like dig up the dirt and go underneath logs and rocks and things like that and even tear apart rotted wood to find things like termites. Now they're known for their quills, but their quills aren't like a porcupine's quill. They're not gonna get stuck in your skin and pull out of her. They're actually just a modified hair. And so when she gets upset, she can use a special muscle in her stomach that'll make her curl completely into a ball where she can hide her head, hide her feet, pull her quills over her eyes. And then those quills stick up all over the place like this. And she can stay constricted like that for a pretty long time. Now the quills will hurt because Obviously they're sharpened on the end and they hit your hand, but they'll also blow themselves up with air and hiss and push the quills a little bit harder. But doing that also pokes her. So she doesn't really want to do that all that often. Really what she wants to do is be able to run and hide or go back down in a burrow. Now they could be very, very sweet animals. You just have to get them at a very young age and get them used to people. If you don't get a hedgehog socialized in the first few months of its life, it's probably never going to be very social. They're always going to be a little bit grumpy. But luckily, Hocus Pocus here is probably one of our friendliest hedgehogs that we have. She's just very excited right now and waiting to get back into her home so she can hunt some mealworms and get back on her wheel. So I'm going to read a book called Always So Grumpy. This is by Aaron Gundelsberger with pictures by Anda Twin. And it is about a grumpy hedgehog because sometimes hedgehogs can be very grumpy. So here we go. I am grumpy, I am crabby, I am not having a good day. See these spines? They're not just for looks, they're prickly, so watch out. You want me to try to, <laughs> you want to try to cheer me up? You could try telling a funny joke or making a silly noise. It's not going to work, but go ahead. I'll wait while you try your best one. Okay, that was pretty funny, but I'm always so grumpy. See, here's my grumpy face. What's next? Are you going to tickle me? Try it. It won't make any difference. You can tickle my under my belly, under my arm, under my chin, behind my ear. I won't smile. I won't laugh. I am always so grumpy. I bet you think I need a nap to feel better. You think I should get into that hammock? I'll get in, you can even rock me, but it's not going to help and I'm not tired. Hold on a second, maybe try rocking a little bit more. Ouch, you rocked me too hard. Now I'm sore and grumpy. And look at this mess you've made. You're going to have to shake the book to get everything back in order. It may be cleaner now, but I am still done, done, done. I'm going to build a fence so I can be by myself. It's not a big fence, but it'll do for now. And don't try knocking on it. It won't come out. I'm still grumpy. Hey, you made my fence fall down. That's it. You leave me no choice.
You might as well put the book down and walk away. I'm going to stay in this ball until you leave me alone. Wait, are you really going away? Couldn't you stay a little bit longer? The truth is, I woke up this morning feeling cranky and kind of gloomy. Maybe you could give me a hug and say I love you? Wow, that's much better. I guess I'm not always so grumpy. Thanks for sticking with me even when I wasn't very much fun to be around. You're a good friend. Psst, I love you too. The end. Well, that was a good book about how it's okay to be grumpy. Sometimes we wake up that way. Sometimes something happens to us and just makes us feel a little odd for that day. But just remember that things can always get better. You don't have to stay grumpy all day long. Sometimes it just takes talking about your feelings. Sometimes it just takes somebody saying something nice to you and that can completely turn your day around. So you don't always have to be so grumpy. Just like how our little friend here isn't grumpy all the time. Sometimes she can be the sweetest little thing in the world, right? What, you just want your bugs, I know. So, hope you guys had fun and we'll see you next time.